So let's dive into Empire State of Mind, guys. So let's start off with our check-in section. What do? What's going what's on? What's good? What's good? What's going on, Abby? What's good? Now I'm out here. You know, it was Thanksgiving yesterday. Right. So we out here uh, fucking eating. Round them. two, baby. Round two, eating yep. the leftovers, um, stuff. But I feel blessed. I had an amazing Thanksgiving with my family. Yes. And my sister, my mom. Wait, so did they jokes all night? Did they come to your house or did you No, go to their not house? my house. Okay. Um I spent actually all day cleaning on Thanksgiving because I left everything for the last minute. <laughs> and one I didn't have like any time throughout the week to clean, so I was like cleaning from like morning to like the time I had to leave. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Damn. Some Cinderella shit. Yeah, because you know we you know, we uh, left things for the last minute. <laughs> things like, got piled up. <laughs> but, you know, we did it, and I went over to my sister's house in the Heights. Mm. Um, and we got lit. Wahi. Wahi. Back to Wahi. Okay. Yeah. Dope, dope. Brock, what about you? I uh, went back to the BX. It was lit. It was chill. Oh, well, um, you finally went uptown because Brock never visited his hometown. Because his hometown is dumb deep. I'm not about to take. It's not the bad. the trains were like fucked up, so I had to Uber that shit up there. <laughs> it was I chill. had to Uber. I had to. Oh god. It was late, and oh, my parents were calling, so I wasn't gonna take an hour and a half on the train. Mm -hmm. No, my Thanksgiving was good. Really blessed. Really grateful this year. Mm -hmm. Um. Couldn't eat too much because I was hungover. Oh, but, uh, damn! You yeah. party the day before. There it is. I did. I did party the day before. Okay. Well, okay. What about you, DJ? Um, my week has been um fucking exhausting to mm -hmm. be completely honest. Um, feel like I have my back to you. I'm not used to this. Um, I <laughs> have been I've been working overnight. Like my motor functions aren't even functioning properly. But I've been working overnight um a lot this week and <clears throat> I am on like a day and a half of no sleep. Um, I'm ready to pass out. I don't know how I'm here right now. <laughs> Um, I've also this week I've been working on my second poetry book, which is actually going to come out Ooh. first. I was talking to Brooke about this a little bit, but your second poetry book is going to come out first. Yeah, because the rights to the first one is going to take a little. It's going to take like three months to come, so I've already okay. started working on the second one, and I'm already done with the second one, and I'm going to release the second one first because I did things. But it's technically with the, it. But it's technically the first first one, one right? Yeah. So. And I don't even want to call it a prequel because it's not it's not a prequel because it doesn't connect with the story of the first one that's mm -hmm. gonna be the second one. Whatever, it's a whole mm -hmm. big mess. But that's what I've been working on. And also I'm in a show right now, um, underneath the one minute play festival. Hey. Um and uh, yeah, that's fun. I'm actually in it with, yes, with um yeah, I'm actually in it with my friend Cecilia from Buffalo, CC. Hey CC girl. Um, yes, wasn't I saying on the last episode I was like D. You need to go back to acting. I know, right? And look at him! <laughs> <laughs> Abby, you know, just made that shit happen. She spoke to the stars. Yes. Um, but yeah, so that's what's going on. Um, so I'm in rehearsals for that now, too. Should be a good time. I'll keep you guys updated on it, and you guys as well. And um, yeah, let's uh, dive on over to our next section. It's lit! Yay. This is where we talk about <laughs> things that we find lit in New York City. So, bro, what is lit? What have you found? Yo, the weather has been so fucking nice. Are we talking about the guy? No, no, <laughs> no. I have to because I get depressed in the winter, and I'm happy okay. that it's nice, and oh, I'm not you're sad. Happy. What is it? What is this seasonal seasonal affective disorder? There you go. Sad. Oh, that's sad. what it's called. Yeah. Yep. No, it's like a legit thing, yeah. like lack of vitamin wow. D and sunlight and all that shit. I know it. I yeah. Know it. Yeah, so the weather's been lit. It's been lit. It's been fucking cold, is what it's been. Today's been warm. Today's like 50. It was nice. It was yeah, it's nice. nice. But it's been sunny. But it's still right. Yeah. That's it's sunny. I like that sunny. Sun, yeah. And then the leaves are falling down. You like to hear them? What about you, D? Um, what's lit for me? Okay, so I've spoken about this on our previous podcast and you know things just keep popping up and I, I i said i was gonna speak about it again so here i am i'm gonna speak about it again i'll put you motherfuckers on because everybody residing in this city needs to get an id nyc oh yeah here we go because it's been mad months and i bet your motherfuckers still don't have one i started the application i started the application yo it's, it's not hard here we go all right so i'm gonna put you guys on okay 
Basically, um, the IDNYC is a government-issued identification card that is available to all city residents age 14 and older, okay? Mm -hmm. Immigration status does not matter, so all my Mexican friends, you guys are fine. Applicants not the must only complete. Not the only immigrants. Applicants must complete an application. <laughs> this is what Brock was just talking about, the thing that he did not finish. Um, applicants must complete an application and submit it at IDNYC enrollment centers. There's one, there's a plethora in every borough, okay? Um, they disguise themselves as libraries. That's all that I know. I know that they disguise themselves as libraries. But if you go to NY, um, the, the what? The the EBT office also will give you this service. There's lots of places. Go to the website, yes. look it up. Um, applicants are also required to present proof of identity and residency in New York City. So that's kind of like maybe like if you get mail to your house or like uh, like a proof of address, some shit like that, right? After you apply for the card, it will be sent to you in the mail, and that's it. Like it's easy, easy peasy. One, two, three. How long does it take to apply? Honestly, it takes like. It's up to you, yeah. It does not take that long it's at up all. To you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like so. However long you prolong the process, oh, that's how long it takes. But oh, like, I literally got mine in one shot. Like me and my friend Melanie, we were like, oh, let's go to the library together and sign up. We made our reservation. We went next week, and then that same day we were done with everything. And then we got our cards like maybe two to three weeks later in the mail, and it's lit. And my movie tickets have been mad cheap. But I'll get to that in a second. So. <laughs> Also, um, for right now, the IDNYC card is free for all New Yorkers who apply during the first year of the program. So, when it turns to December 31st, Ooh. it's not going to be free anymore. Oh, so I, right so I suggest y'all get on that Wait. shit right now. It's not going to be free anymore. Um, the cards are valid for five years from the date that your application is approved. The IDNYC card is an accessible and secure document that enables residents to access city services and grant admission to city buildings, so places like schools and shit like that. Um, the card can also be presented as proof of identification for interacting with the police, you know, things You're that, the police. Uh, you, things the that police. you know, young men of my color, you never know, so you know, if you don't have a permit or a driver's license, go get a motherfucking IDNYC card, okay? Uh, um, so that you can protect yourself. You don't have to go through the DMV process and that whole shit. None of it, none of it at all. The YMCA um, had something like this like years ago. Fuck them. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Motor <laughs> skills are off. <laughs> Brain is off. Every no <laughs> filter. Um, so and it's also an accepted form of identification for opening banking accounts at select financial institutions. Um, go get yourself a bank account, it's important. You are able to use your ID NYC <laughs> card at any public library in New York. Now, When's let the me... last time you've been to the library? Okay, to true, get the ID. <laughs> true. <laughs> you absolutely correct. However, for my bookworms out there, yeah. okay? You know how oh, you have to have a separate library card for like Queens, Brooklyn, Manhattan, because it's, it's three different systems? Not with the IDNYC card. They connect it all into that one card and you can free roam and free ball and do whatever you want to do. So there's oh. that. Burping up my meal a little bit. I'm sorry. So I'm going to go through some of the benefits for you guys, okay? Um, any of you motherfuckers like going horseback riding, okay? You get 15% <laughs> off. You get 15% you get off at Course Horse, okay? Mm. Uh, Baruch Performing Art Center. <laughs> go to cor go to coursehorse.com and you'll find it here in the city. Um, BPAC Baruch Performing Art Center. Uh, you get 50% on all BPAC productions. You get special discounts on concession items, $10 rush tickets um, on the day of the performance, invitations to other free events, match it. Chelsea Film Festival. If you are holding a card of this stature, you get on um, passes, you receive discounts, match that shit like that museums and cultural institutions museums? if you're trying to get culture this shit if you're trying to go on a date to like one of these motherfucking museums where you have like a date the, 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 the Met yeah Matt. yo 
Over 35 of them. That's like all of them and in the, the city. Spring? Okay, yes. You get a, a year free, you get a, a year long membership to all of these things. Like, it's way too lit for all of us not to have. Um, Brooklyn Sports and Entertainment. You can save up to 25% off on tickets um, at the Barclays Center. I know y'all niggas love the Barclays Center. Barclays! Hello. Um, <laughs> y'all can get tickets off um, from boxing, family shows, basketball, match shit. Model sporting goods. That's where I get my socks from. I don't know about y'all. I don't know that was still around. They are still around. Um, you can get discounts get up to ten percent. Hello, get Same. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um, get yourself some ten percent off. Um, banks and credit unions, like we spoke about, entertainment discounts, Broadway shows, my niggas. Broadway, you could get discounted Broadway tickets. Stop playing fucking games. Movie theaters. This is what I use. I'm sure it for. not that much discounted. Yo. You'd be surprised. Is it half off? Is it like matinee price? Go get your car. Go We're look it up. <laughs> <laughs> go get your car. Go look it up. Uh, prescription drug discounts. Um, so, you know, hey. if, you, if, if you need your what you need, you know, it'll be discounted. Fitness and health centers. <laughs> it might. It just motherfucking might. It might. Yeah. Um, fitness and health centers <laughs> discounts. <laughs> New York City parks. The YMCA. Y'all motherfuckers was just talking about it. 50% <laughs> off. City bike, you ride that fucking bike, right? City motherfucking bike, say 50% on your annual. I already got that. Oh, look at me, my name's Brock. I'm Brock, I ride for free, I'm crazy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if you shop at Food Bazaar. Oh, Food Bazaar, you get, oh, hell yeah. You get discount, you get a 5% discount on all your purchases. Um, yo, this man, guys. Get There's the fucking benefits. card. There's, There's mad benefits. benefits. Get the fucking and card. We, we've been sleeping on it. Y'all been sleeping. Everybody's been sleeping. We're gonna get it. I gotta get that course horse, man. I gotta ride. You gotta ride that gotta, motherfucking horse. I gotta get on that course horse. Where? That's where I'm trying to go. That sounds really lit. It's a 9.5. Um, and that's what's lit for me in the city. So. That is really lit. Boom. City. <laughs> 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 so now let's move on over to our shout out section. Woo, woo. Um, it appears that I'm the only one that appreciates anyone. <laughs> so, yeah. I was literally trying to pick, like, who can they shout out? Who can they? I was like, okay, so say I don't shout out anyone because they, they don't hit us up. Fuck them. Go off, go off. Yeah, you guys gotta hit us up and shit. Let us know that you're listening. Oh, wait. I, I, wanna, I, wanna, wanna, I gotta shout out. I gotta shout out. You wanna, you, you, I gotta shout out. I gotta shout out. No, he said, I wanna out. You wanna out somebody or no, you wanna no, shout no, out? I wanna shout out someone. Okay, mm -hmm. who you wanna shout no, out? No, no, you go first, though. Oh, okay. Um, I want to shout out um, Anale, who liked Ooh, episode Annale. seven on our SoundCloud, Thank and you, Mama. also That's a woman, right? yeah, I believe yeah. so. I'm gonna say so. Um, and also Celine Bowens or yeah. Bowens, who liked our most recent episode, episode Thank eight on you SoundCloud. Too, Thank you, ladies. Love you. I want to give a shout out to Marcus. Everybody hates Marcus oh. <laughs> because <laughs> he agreed Marcus. with me and all my nonsense I was spewing in the last episode. So shout out Marcus. Okay. Next time, fucking tag me on Twitter though. Hello. You know my handle, so Ooh. I don't know why you didn't tag that shit. Stop keeping <laughs> yeah. secrets, Marcus. Shout out Marcus. Yay. There it is. Here we all go. right. 